Hi ladies. Um, today I was asked to do a tutorial on the wrap that I had done and I call it my iris wrap and I had done it with a um, t-shirt scarf so it was a jersey material. The one that I was wearing today was an extra long one and somebody had asked if I can do it with a regular t-shirt scarf that is not um, as long as the extra the extra long ones. The extra long ones are approximately about three yards of fabric and the regular ones are much much shorter and I'll be honest I don't really ever wear the regular length t-shirt scarves. Here's one right here. This is the this is the actually the only one that I own. Um, I think I've gotten rid of all of mine. I just, they're just too short. And I have a lot of volume. And I also have a bigger head. Um, so they just don't work as well for me. But um, I'm going to do my iris wrap with this. I think it's like the golden tan um, t-shirt scarf from Rapunzel. So... I don't wear it I don't even really know um, how far to fold it but I think that this is about right so I'm gonna put it on my head with both ends hanging equally I have a mirror off to the side so I might be ducking down now and then um, one thing that's important when, I think when you wrap with jersey is to not pull it tight. I do not tie jersey scarves or very many scarves. I don't tie them at the back of my neck. And if I was to tie this regular one, I just would have hardly... I wouldn't be able to really do, you know, like a regal wrap or anything like that. So one thing, yeah, one thing that's important is when you're gathering it at the back and you tie your crisscross, don't do it too tight because for one thing, it will make your volume squish out the back. And also I feel like they kind of tighten up a little bit um, you know as you wear them so I have it on my head with both ends hanging equally and just messing with my velvet so I just have it gathered um, with both of my hands my volume is up here and I'm going to crisscross it down here towards the bottom of my velvet and that helps me maintain like a full amount of shape because I don't go up with it I just keep the crisscross down you know down low so again with with the jersey you can't even see what I'm doing With a jersey, it's important not to pull stuff tightly. And see, I have an indentation here, so I'm going to fold it and bring it over so that it covers that 
indentation that was right there. So it has this more smoother look along the side. And here, see, because this scarf is so short, I have barely very much fabric at all. What I'm going to do is I take the other tail, bring it around to the front, pull it through. And if you're familiar with the, um, the beginner's luck wrap, it's a beginner's luck knot that I just did. Okay, this little thing here, I'm going to kind of hold it because it's too short. Kind of hold it right there. And then take this fabric and bring it around the back. And then I'm going to kind of spread it. And then come over here and tuck it in on this side. And then, so that's my, that's my regular um, iris wrap. And like I said, I have a video with that um, on with Lakeshore Bliss. Everybody's asleep because it's like 2.30 in the morning, so. I think that looks smooth. So that's how I do it with a shorter scarf. <coughs> I don't get off work until one o'clock in the morning, so, and I live 45 minutes to an hour away from my job, which I live in the mountains, so, Everybody's asleep, so I've been filming when I do a YouTube video or a tutorial. I've been coming in our movie room and doing it in here because it's kind of soundproof. So there's the first one with a regular t-shirt scarf. This is the Dusty Rose extra long t-shirt scarf. And I thought this might show up more than the blue one that I wore today. So this, I like this because it's longer. And it's not as wide. So you almost don't really even have to fold it at all. Again, I'm going to put it on. And have both of my ends equal. You can see it comes up right up underneath my my button. What I'm gonna so I'm gonna do the same thing. Gather it at the back and then crisscross. But not too tight. Okay. I'm going to fold it in just on the ends a little bit. Bring it over, and I like to kind of spread it out, and then it's covering that indentation. Then I'm gonna do take the take the tail that's hanging on the other side, bring it from the back to around to the front, and pull it all the way through, 
and then tie it in a beginner's look knot, kind of up higher. Okay. So, we have a lot more fabric here to tuck away. So what I meant, I'm just going to bring this one around. And I'm using my hands to fill the bumpiness. And just kind of bring it around there so it's, I can tell that it's more smooth. And I bring this over the top. And it barely makes it, but I just kind of tucked it in here. Has kind of fallen and that's why I said do it high okay. here we go again bring this one around the back kind of spread it out and then bring this down here and just kind of stick it in there just so it doesn't move. And then I have this one. I'm going to bring it around the back. And I like to kind of spread it out. And bring it over the top. And then tuck it. I just tucked it right there. So, all of that that I did, I never really pulled on the scarf like super tight. Um, and then there's that side, and then there's that side, and I'm going to check and see what it looks like. Okay, so that is basically what I did today. There's what it looks like. Um, if you have any questions or anything wasn't clear, leave me a comment or you can leave me a question in the groups or whatever, or you can just comment on the YouTube video. So I hope that was helpful and I will see you soon.